Let's talk about um, your different genres because for those who don't know, Music Man Miles is not only a guitarist and a bass player, you also are a club promoter and DJ yourself. Yeah. You run Root Down. Root Down is at the Little Temple in Los Angeles. Funky Soul is now at Jimmy's in Los Angeles. We've done Root Down in New York. Which is like a one, one off type nope. of thing. We did it for a year back when up. Uh, a good friend, uh, DJ Dusk, who was part of the Root Down sound system, and well, still is, he always will be. Mm -hmm. But uh, when he was with us before he passed on, um, me and him would fly out every month to um, go do, a par do the Root Down in New York. And we had an amazing year. I'm sure I mean, that was a was, hit. Yeah, we had Grandmaster Flash, uh, Red Alert, Africa Mabata, Pete Rock, Large Professor, other guests from out of Newmark from Jurassic 5. We had, we had every month, it was, it was pretty cool. Did that for a year, but it was it was you know we it, it was pretty cool for a party that was on a Monday night. Oh my God! We, it was pretty. I'm sorry if if Africa Bombada and Pete Rock are spinning on Monday night. It doesn't matter. It's Monday. You're there. Yeah. You don't miss that, right? Yeah. So it, it was it was amazing, but we, it didn't you know we weren't able to keep it going and make have it make you know sense financially and whatnot beyond right. the year. So dealing with club promotion is a lot already it's a lot of work yeah and i'm i'm really trying to focus on music and i i just don't think unless i got some other partners beyond my other partner carlos uh um i don't think we'd we'd, we'd have to really get other people to, to expand to deal with it so i'm trying to focus more on music okay you know? but you do dj yeah and every thursday at root down and then funky soul on saturday and let's talk about how that kind of was the impetus for Breakestra. And explain also what Breakestra is because it's something very special. It's not just a band or a group of people. Yep. <clears throat> well, Breakestra completely connects to Inclined because, like I was saying, like, you know, we kind of would incorporate some of the influences of hip hop, especially all the funk and soul and soul <laughs> jazz music that that was used in the samples, all the James Brown stuff and, and on and on that was used in hip hop samples in the late 80s, early 90s. You know, I was getting turned on to that music for the first time through the beats. Right. You know, and so I didn't even know who the original artists were on, on half of them, you know. And who so. Who is this James <clears throat> Brown fellow? Yeah, well, just hearing this music. You know, in a rock him track and going, oh, that's funky. What is that? You know, and then eventually going to a house party and hearing Cut Chemist or Mixmaster Wolf or Marvsky and on and on, having those guys playing those original records, mm -hmm. you know, for a house party and people getting down it and then, oh, wow, that's the whole song, really hearing the meters and Sly and the Family Stone and on and on. Hearing all that music, I also started, you know, bringing that into the, the style and the songs of, in, of Inclined. Right. And then live, we would, we would play like we go maybe from middle of our jam into you know like some James Brown or meters or some sort of riff you know thing you know some sort of like medley kind of thing into the instrumental part of it or sometimes they actually even do the song and so the idea of doing medleys incorporating it mm -hmm. and the way kind of the way DJs make seamless blends between music or make things that work naturally that was like the seed from having heard those early Hip, real hip hop teachers because real hip hop the original hip hop from the 1970s Cool Herc mm -hmm. the New York Bronx style DJs they were playing funk records before there was any rap records they were playing funk records you know at parties for people and they right. were going from one jam to the other sometimes repeating parts the break by cutting two copies of the same record and these DJs like Cut Chemist and whatnot and Mixmaster Wolf from Breakestra, they were keeping that art alive in Los Angeles. Oh, out here. Yeah, they were keeping that, you know, they were like the counterpart to what was going on in New York, but, you know, maybe even more so because they, the fact that they weren't there, they were even going deeper into it. Mm 